anticipation, totally legal. Faster has place. His right arm extended with that low blow. Oh, there's the choke bomb. One of the signature moves of Chris Miller. And Faster has recovered. Disqualification in this one. Fester has accessorized tonight. A beautiful new gold belt. And it's not a championship belt either. Miller doesn't want to touch Fester. Doesn't want to get anywhere near. This freak of nature, this weirdo. Oh, Miller suckered in Fester and is attacking the bottom of his left boot. Repeatedly smashing down right onto the back of Fester in the early goal. Fester with a reversal trips down Chris Miller. Down the position just in time for that. The fans have embraced differences and that's why they love Fester. Using the ropes for extra leverage to snap down Chris Miller backwards for a near fall. How many wrestlers and how many luchadors do you see do something like that? He is unique. He is strange. It, he's weird. I don't even know if it's a he or not. It's, where's the dress? This cross-dressing fashion hot plate from New York City, I imagine. His dress, his gestures, everything about him is very peculiar. And, well, Miller did not want to get a look up the dress of Fester and avoided the contact for a moment before he took, he had his neck snapped down. Now one of the masked young fans in the crowd is going to try to help out as they straddle Chris Miller on the ring post on the near side. Oh, man. Chris Miller's been finally very badly right there. And Fester already has tried to embarrass Chris Miller. Remember, Miller used the ropes for leverage to win their last match, and now they are traveling closer and closer towards the bar. And one grabs the other before Miller is the one who's sent head first into the post. Fun, entertaining environment for Lucha Libre today as the matches spilled to the outside often and early, and you don't want to hit one of our security members here. Oh man, Miller crushed Fester into that post. Oh, oh dear! He took a, I think he took a beer bottle and smashed Fester the head with it. My goodness! Got little pieces of glass all over town after that. This match has gone extreme. I was told no disqualification before tonight. And I think Miller just took a, a turkey tin and just smashed Fester in the head with it. Just took some garbage and dumped it on his head too. I didn't know our garbage cans turned into little white pails. Oh man, the echoing in that pail. And then throughout the eardrums, Fester has, has been wasted, has been thrown out. And Fester is having a difficult time dealing with the brawling tendencies and the ruthlessness of one Chris Miller. The fans are here for an incredible ride of action, and they have backed up Fester recently. But Miller loves his beer, and he loves a slugfest in a fight. I believe Fester just swinged the bottom of Chris Miller repeatedly with his newest accessory, that gold belt. Oh, beautiful. Pump handle kick has put Fester prone onto the mat below. This Chris Miller is deceptively strong and he is malicious in his efforts now to try to choke the life out of Fester right here. 
Chris Miller is all about meeting a challenge, exceeding the challenge, and winning. And Al Miller is on the outside and he's looking under the ring. He's found himself a steel chair. And it could get serious here. If Miller clocks Fester with that chair, it'll be all over. Oh man, right to the back. And Fester is being abused here and harmed physically at the hands of Chris Miller in this one fall, no disqualification man. As now he's got that chair propped between the middle and top rope in the near side corner. And Miller has made a lot of enemies. Now on teams, right? Oh, back first into the corner. That's where the chair was positioned. His lower back writhing in pain, and Fester barely gets the shoulder up. And Miller debating the count. But Miller's been relentless for the most part in this battle so far. Some of our fans still trickling in as this is our opening attraction. The chair has been stood upright in the middle of the ring and if Fester goes through that chair, it's going to have tragic, detrimental effects for Fester and his or her or their respective futures. Drag down Chris Miller at first on that chair. And now Miller has been disoriented for a moment as Fester elevates Chris Miller. Oh, he's straddled above that chair! As if the ring post wasn't worse enough. You just had all that Miller time spread out in different parts of the uh, anatomy. Fester now riding Chris Miller in the corner like an animal. And a very low drop kick. Again, no disqualification. Totally legal. First one to score a pinfall or submission in the ring will be declared the winner. El Guapito basically just has to count the fall. Fester has placed that poison sushi claw on, but Miller got his right arm extended with a low blow. Oh, there's the choke bomb. One of the signature moves of Chris Miller. And Fester has recovered. Fester sits up. Fester just drove his hand deep within the mouth of Chris Miller. Throughout all of the different parts of the jaw, his mandible has been devastated here. And I don't know if Miller has given up, if he has verbally submitted or not, but Fester has relinquished the hold and is wiping off his hand of all the sweat. Oh, the chair ricocheted off the top right into Miller's head. Are you kidding me? Yeah.